Hi guys, welcome back. Here you're going to see me beginning to airbrush a border collie. And I'm just going in the background here and I have a mixture of uh, moss, just moss green right now. And I'm uh, shooting at light and dark in certain areas and using some uh, textured stencils to get in just some different specks here and there. And I did not take this one off because I'm going to leave a little bit of an area where I can come back in and fill in later. So this is basically freehand, but this is on uh, Yupo paper. It's a synthetic paper that uh, you can get on Amazon. Um, I, this one's a medium blend, but uh, I'm sure there's other grades if you prefer something thicker or something thinner. Um, I, I'm not, I'm trying to find something else to airbrush on besides the aluminum panels, which I'm so used to painting on. But um, the next thing I'm going to try is just the, I think the boards that you can purchase that are just like a, a wooden board that you can like gesso the front of it. And then it has the edge on the back of it where you can hang it. But uh, for right now, this is uh, Yupo paper. And I do like working on Yupo paper, but it's so thin that you about have to frame it right away or it gets uh, ruined. So um, unless, if you're doing a portrait for someone, that they're going to frame it right away, it'd be great. But uh, I don't know if it comes in any more sizes rather than an 8x10, but I'm sure it does. You just have to check it out. But anywho, um, this is kind of a... A short video because of course you know me I ended up cutting part of my video off and I didn't mean to but at least you're gonna get uh, the best parts of it and I like using the textured sten stencil to get that blurry effect in the background because um, you can put in some really striking sharp uh, darker colors and then you can kind of blur it out a little bit with other other colors and after I uh, use this moss green I'll be coming in and just adding some drops of yellow to the moss green to lighten it up a little bit to spray here and there in the, in the background also you might hear the cars going by outside I'm at a different, the other place, the of all place. <laughs> I'm noticing I'm not getting up as close as I want to, so maybe I'll fix that in the, the next upload, which hopefully will be tomorrow. I should have most of this painting done, most of it done today bit of touch up tomorrow but or I don't like to like work all of one painting in in one day because I like to take breaks and step back and look at it you know I don't like to rush things that's the one thing I think and a lot of artists make a mistake on is they don't give themselves time to slow down and kind of enjoy the process and look at it um, like when I came in this morning and I looked at it, I seen there's some uh, areas where I should have added a little bit of um, blue in with my black, the blue violet with black, and I'll be doing that today and kind of spraying it over it because um, black has a way of dulling your work. And with this border collie, I thought, well, black, you know, there's a lot of blue in there, blue tints. But there's also some really dark, dark blues. So you'll see in this video where I sprayed some lighter blue uh, for shadowing and stuff. But uh, I didn't spray the darker blues. So I will be doing that in the next video. And here I'm just using my Mars eraser to scratch out a little bit of that green where I had gotten a little bit too close in an area that I didn't want it. And, of course, I'm scratching out some little flyaway hairs there, here and there. And always, as um, 
you do your piece, you want to erase those very dark striking pencil marks. I have them that dark so you can see it, but as I go along, I'm going to try to scratch those out where I'm not going to be, where I'm going to be putting in the lighter colors. I should say erase those out, not scratch those out. So this morning when I woke up, it was like thunderstorm, city, raining really bad. And then when I came in to work today, into the studio, now the sun's shining. It's beautiful outside. It's, it's like 70. Yes. Indian weather could be the worst. It's up, it's down. It's up, it's down. You never know what it's going to do. Like last week, it was in the 30s. To, and this week it's in the 70s. Go figure. And here I'm coming in with just some sepia, plain sepia, nothing added to it, um, to get those brown undertones. And then in certain places I'll be using some um, burnt sienna for that more. Oh, apricot look, I guess. Brownish, I don't know what you call it. Rusty look. I don't know my wordings. I just know how to paint, I don't know my word. <laughs> and even though you can't see it, I'm scratching out some highlights where it, I'm going to want those highlights later. So what you do when you build up, then you scratch out, you erase out again. What is with my wording today? I can't talk. Scratch out. Okay. Been working on aluminum panels lately. And I'm just lightly spraying over the areas where there's going to be shadowing. I'm holding my airbrush uh, out back far away so that it can kind of blend in instead of just spraying out all at once. And I'm trying to teach a student um, right now. I've been working with to do that. And I keep wanting to be up close and to get your blending. You got to be back a little ways and then to he has really big hands I mean big fat hands and uh, the little the airbrush to him was so little like a pencil that it was hard for him to control so now he's using a uh, one with like a trigger on it like a spray uh, like the big sp uh, spray guns and, of course, I've never used one of those before because I've always used the, uh, the uh, siphon feed double action. So I was working with it a little bit. And it's not too bad. You can get a hairline. Well, I can get a hairline line with it. He's trying to, but, you know, um, he'll get there. Just takes time. And lots and lots of practice, right? As we well know. You, you gotta love it too. You just gotta love airbrushing to stay with it that long and to really practice to learn it. I, when I was first learning, I, I stayed in my shop for like 14, 16 hours at a time. Get up really early, wouldn't come back in until really late. And then finally start mastering the trigger and mastering everything. Before you know it, you're good. Doesn't help to learn all the ticks, the tricks too of the trade. A lot of airbrush artists don't want to tell you those tricks. They want to charge you an arm and a leg to learn them, which I don't quite understand that, but okay, to each his own, I've always felt like that if you want to learn um, 
why should we hide something from other people, you know, that we know how to do? Let them learn too and grow. And of course, I will even be in charge, you know, in charge of some of the artwork. Because it takes a lot of time to do one of these pieces. I mean, if you teach somebody too, you should be paid for that. But why hide your your tricks? Well, why hide uh, the certain things that we've learned to do over the years that makes our artwork better? Let's spread the word and share it. Share the love. They say, share the love. Feeling a little crazy today. I've had too many cups of coffee. This video is about, I'm adding a little blue here to the eye, and I am erasing out those highlights. Ha ha ha, I said erase, ha! And spraying up just lightly uh, shadowing of sepia in certain areas. But I will be coming back over with some black and some uh, um, burnt sienna later on. Work on the tongue there, and I'm going to be spraying some shadowing under that nose. Look at how he looks like he has a little mustache going on. I, I jump around a little bit in my airbrushing. I guess I get tired of working in a certain area and I just jump over to the next. But the best way to paint is just paint in sections. Racing out some stark highlights there. And I'm putting in some blue, light, light blue, um, for shadowing and for highlights. A lot of that light blue is going to go right on the edge of where the green comes up to meet the white. I didn't want to start painting today until I got this uploaded. So I, because I know I'm, I'm a little, I'm late. Let's just say I'm late. Probably some of you are going, where is her video this week? I, I apologize. I don't know what to say. I'm late. I'm late. I'm late. I'm late. I have a rather on. Um, oh man, I drank too much coffee. Um, Alice in Wonderland. Yeah, that rabbit. I'm late. I'm late. I'm late. I'm late. I'm late. A little bit of hair down by. This is where his legs starting to come out. Got him cut off here. In which to get a um, close up today in my videotaping, I'm going to probably just kind of focus on the face a little bit. And then I'll, if I get that done, I'll move down to where you guys can see the rest. But, um, the studio here is a little bit different than the one at the big place. I call it the big house and the little house. The big paint place and the little paint place. This is a little storefront studio. And the other place is my actual big shop. Got one eye blue and I think the other eye is like a amber color. So it's really kind of cool. But here I'm starting to add in some black. I'm 
and this video is going to cut off I think right before I get most of the black in there because I thought I was recording again hey I'm not perfect okay and I wasn't I probably here you go